Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to Show It Better. And in today's video, we are going to learn how to create this animated site plan uh, using Illustrator and After Effects. All right, so let's get started. Okay, guys, so uh, first of all, I want to thank you all so so much because we just reached a hundred thousand subscribers and this is so crazy i'm super super grateful i want to do like a thank you video uh, part but i just want to say thank you so let's get started so in this video we're going to create this animated site plan and so first we are going to go to illustrator you know import our cad file that we have a uh, our plan in uh, we're going to fix it up a little bit you know fits up a little bit of the layers and uh, make it a little bit pretty. Then we're going to import it to After Effects. We're going to animate, you know, each, like each cool part and we're going to export it. That is basically it, all right? So if you guys are new to After Effects, new to Illustrator, please uh, just bear with me. I'm, I'm not an expert as well. I am just an architect that knows a little bit of After Effects. So, um, so yeah, so just, you know, just, watch the video a lot of times right so let's get started so this is my file this is my this is my, the, the plan that i have is a plan of my city basically what i want to do is animate it i maybe i want to animate this river maybe the parks maybe add some trees so what we're going to do before we export it to uh to after effects we're just going to fix the file a little bit right so as you guys can see i have the different layers of my plans separated so as you guys can see if i turn each one of them off you're going to see, uh, you know, the rivers, the constructions, the parks, and, you know, basically everything in, in, in the city. Okay, guys. So, uh, as you guys can see, I have a... Uh, I have finished uh, like fitting up the plan a little bit. I, you know, I put some green spaces over here. So before we export it to After Effects, there's one super important thing I need to tell you guys is that everything needs to be in separated layers and it can't be grouped, right? So all these different uh, layers and in different in, 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 a, in a grouped layer that's called layers, right? So this doesn't work for After Effects. It all everything has to be like outside in its own little group. So what we're going to do is we're going to take them out of of of, uh, of these groups. What we're going to do is go, for example, to this sub layer. We're going to click over here in this in this top bar, and we're going to click on uh, release to layers sequence. Right. So this is super important. It has to be released to layer sequence. It has it doesn't it can't be released to layers built. Release to layer sequence. And as you guys can see, there's a new layer created over here. So I'm just going to call this the same name the, the same name that, that it had over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, put it over here and it's going to be outside, right? So and we're going to, I'm going to do the same thing for these, all these other layers. Okay guys, so as you guys can see, I have released everything and it's in, everything is in outside of, of the layers and it's not in group layers. So right now I can erase this background and you can press delete layers. And I have everything outside, right? So I have my trees, clouds, water, constructions, uh, parks, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So right, so right now this, plan is perfect for us and what we're going to do is we're going to save it as a photoshop file as, as a as a illustrator file right so we're going to go to go save as and we're going to save it as a illustrator file right so this is perfect right now here we, we're, we don't do anything we just press ok and our first step is done now let's open after effects and continue with the rest of our video. Okay guys, so now that we are in After Effects, I know that this is a, a very new thing for everyone here in this channel that, that is mostly a Photoshop fan and uh, AutoCAD and everything, but we have to get into new turfs if we want to spread our wings and you know create much uh, more creative things, right? So, so I'm just going to go here to Project and I'm going to create a new composition. Right, so I'm going to click right here, create a new composition. I'm going to call this animated uh, urban plan, I think. And I'm going to make sure that it says 1920 by 1080. And we're going to make this about, uh, I don't know, about about 15 seconds, I think, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, I think it's fine. Right, so we're going to press OK. So now we're going to go and 
look for our plan. So here it says, as you guys can see here, it says animated urban plan. And I'm just going to click on it and drag it to my After Effects folder right here. I'm just going to where it says project. I'm just going to drop it right here. If uh, if you have if, if you well, well when this appears you're going to select import kind composition and uh, layer size right so this is what I do I don't know if it's the correct thing just so I'm just going to press OK right here okay so I I opened uh, so I imported the plan right now as you guys can see I have an animated urban plan composition which is the one we created I have an animated urban plan which is a uh, the same uh, Illustrator file and we have when we open this, this these are the layers that uh, the illustrator file has right so as you guys can see they're all separated but what we're going to do is we're going to click on animated urban plan and we're going to drag and click it and put it into our animated urban plan composition right so as you guys can see uh, this is our plan this is our composition and we have to scale it up right so what we're going to do you guys can just uh, click here on the handles it's very much like photoshop but for animate but animated and we're just going to scale it up just a little bit right so this is going to be a little bit off but for now it's fine so for some people it may look pixelated so what you want to do is click right here on this button that turns off so you just click on it and it's in better resolution supposedly but we're going to just uh improve it a little bit right so let's, we, we're going to click we're going to double click on animated urban plan and this is going to open uh, the plan so as you guys can see I have all my separated layers here, right? I have my clouds. I have my, my trees uh, I have everything here. It, it looks a little bit. It looks very pixelated But we're going to try to improve the resolution. We're going to select all of these and turn all these things on Right, so it, it, it improves a little bit the resolution as you guys can see so first let's uh, Put in a, a white background in this because it looks a little bit confusing for us so what we're going to do is we're going to go to in we're going to right click anywhere over here and click on new and new solid so i'm going to press ok and as you guys can see it's on top of everything here so i'm just going to drag it down over here and as you guys can see it's much better we can uh, we can see that it looks much much better right here and now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to add some you know some interesting things right so we're going to decide what do we want to animate right so i know that for a fact i want to animate the clouds right so this is the thing that i want to be animated i also want to animate maybe the river so i want maybe the river to appear and perhaps i want to animate the text of the the names of each place that i'm trying to so let's start so first of all if you want to animate the clouds, I'm just going to right click on top of the cloud and create shapes from vector layer. So what this does, it converts in shapes uh, what we had in an Illustrator file. So what we're going to do right here is I'm going to just, I just want them to move right here from here to over here during the 10 seconds of our composition, right? So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press P on my keyboard while while selecting the my cloud layer right so I'm just, if i press p layer the position this position things appear right so i'm just going to do the following please don't get lost i'm going to press on this little clock over here i'm just going to press it and it's going to be blue right and i'm going i'm in the one set i'm in the zero seconds mark right so this is this is our time frame and this is how we animate each thing right so position i'm going to say hey dude start over here and I'm going to go to my 10 second layer, 10 second uh, part, and I'm going to drag the clouds over to here. So as you guys can see, these things were created. Press a space bar on your keyboard. It's just going to animate and you guys have animated your first thing. Congratulations. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on the clouds. And I'm going to select layer styles and I'm going to select a drop shadow. As you guys can see here, there's a, there was a drop shadow mini layer created. I'm going to open it up. The, in, the dins, in the distance part, I'm just going to increase the distance, right? So I'm, if you, as you guys can see, here it says zero and here it says uh, about 39. That's perfect. I'm going to lower the opacity. Right now it's in 75. 
I'm going to put it uh, in about eight, maybe 10 percent. And I'm going to increase maybe the spread. Nope, maybe the size. Yes. So this is perfect. Um, now we're going to minimize this layer by clicking over here. And now we are going to animate uh, the river, right? So we're going to go where it says water. As you guys can see, I have the river right here. I'm going to do the same thing. Right click over here and select create shapes from vector layer. Now I'm going to uh, drop down this menu, click on add, click on trim paths. Open the trim paths layer. Here where it says end, I'm just going to click on the time clock and I'm going to put it in zero, right? And here where it says uh, 10 seconds, I'm going to put it on 100, right? So now let's play it and see how it looks. Mmm, it looks so weird. <laughs> so we don't want it to look like that. And you know why it looks like that? Because uh, this shape, all these shapes have a fill and stroke. What we want to do is we want to remove the fill, right? So I'm just going to click over here and remove the fill. And well, that works much, much better. Okay, and the last thing we're going to do is we're going to create some text uh, on top of our layers, right? So I'm just going to press Control T on my keyboard. I'm going to click over here and I'm going to uh, call this. This is the name. The name of this uh, specific place is called Bosa. This is here in Colombia, and I'm going to put this in a dark uh, color. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down this text menu. I'm going to press animate, going to click on opacity. I'm going to put the opacity in 0%. Now I'm going to go here to animator, uh, range selector, uh, start. We're going to put it in zero and we're going to turn on the clock and we're going to go to uh, two seconds and we're going to put it in 100. Right, so when we press play, looks a little bit weird. We can what we can do is uh, go over here and select um, smoothness and put it in zero, maybe, and maybe we can do this a little bit faster. Okay, so this is perfect. I know some of you guys maybe want to watch this part again. It's a little bit complicated, even if you, if you don't know After Effects. So what we're going to do, as you guys can remember, this is like a mini group. Uh, a group inside of another group, right? So this is the animated urban plan. If we go back to another folder, other composition, you guys are going to see that we have it over here. And we just have this uh, big group where it says animated urban plan. And well, we're going to see everything that it's being animated, right? So this is prop, this is basically it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press S on my keyboard. This is going to make the scale part up here, right? So I'm just going to click on scale, turn the time clock on, and I'm just going to scale this up a little bit. Now, when I go to 10 seconds, I'm just going to scale it down. Okay, guys, so this is pretty much it, right? So now, now our next and final step is to render this into a product, a video, right? So what you want to do is go over here to composition, uh, add to render queue. And this, this uh, window is going to appear and I'm just going to click on it, click on uh, output uh, render settings. And this is going to put on um, best settings, you know, just leave this as it is. Uh, Go over here, maybe you want a specific uh, thing. I just want it to be in AVI, that's perfect for me. And here I'm going to select where I want the video to be saved. And I'm going to click on render right here. Okay guys, so that, so this is the result of this, this of our 10 second video. And I know that may be kind of uh, very sim very basic to many, to many people, but just by knowing these simple animation rules for your plans or for your drawings, 
you know if you're creative the the options are uh you know limited you guys can do anything over here and you can impress your teachers uh your your boss everyone with these kind of animations right so cuz cuz it's kind of tiring when when everyone presents the same plan over and over again and it just always looks the same right so if you guys can animate all of your plans and, or maybe some of your plans when you're doing a presentation maybe on you know on your computer or for your client this is going to blow their socks off right so i'm i'm talking with my experience right so as I, as soon as i started to learn how to animate plans and present these projects in a better way you know everything everything changed because i wasn't a you know, i wasn't uh, presenting the normal plans as everyone was so i hope you guys liked this video if you want to guys if you guys want to see more videos on on animation for architects and after effects please write it in the comments there are so many things i want to teach you guys and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching uh, i'll see you guys in the next video and i'll see you later bye